Hey, welcome to another SynFig tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to sort of do bones in SynFig. To speed things up, I'm going to quickly draw a kind of human arm on the canvas here, a cartoon arm, and then come back. Okay, now we're back. And I've got my cartoon hand here. It's made of six different objects. Let me drag this over here so you can see better. There's two objects for the upper arm, one for the white layer and the outline, two for the forearm, and two for the hand. Okay, and the way we sort of make a bone effect is by combining these objects with rotation layers and encapsulation. We're going to make rotation points at the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder. I'm going to turn off low resolution preview because it can look pretty choppy when doing rotations in low resolution. If you have a slower computer, you'll want to leave low resolution on. Let me move this window back over. And I'm going to add my first rotation layer. Right click, new layer, transform, rotate. And you can see our rotation layer here. I'm going to drag its base over to the shoulder. Now with the blue lever we can swivel the arm. Just drag it up or down in the direction you want to go. Now I'm going to control Z to go back to the original position. Because this rotation object is at the top of our layers, it will rotate everything underneath it. Now we want to add a rotation layer that rotates only the forearm and hand, and not the upper arm. To do this, we're going to use encapsulation now, and select the forearm and hand objects. Right-click and encapsulate them. Now open up the encapsulation. Select the top layer. Right-click on it. Go to New Layer, Transform rotate. Now we have a new rotation object inside the encapsulation. Place it right about where we want the elbow to be. And let's test this out real quick. Up, down, undo, undo. Okay, now our elbow is looking pretty good. And we want one more rotation object at the wrist. So select our hand objects. Right click on them, go to encapsulate, open it up. So now we have some encapsulated objects within another group of encapsulated objects. Choose the top layer in our new encapsulation, right click on it, go to new, transform, rotate, set its location point at the wrist, and test it out here. Down, up. Looks good. Undo, undo. Now we have our three rotation areas and we can pose the arm however we like. Try up on the hand. Go to our elbow rotation. Bring it up. And move our arm rotation down. And notice that the rotation of the arm affects all the layers below it and the rotation of the elbow affects the forearm and hand and the wrist only affects the hand. So the farther up the arm we go, the rotation affects more parts of the arm, making it more natural. I'm going to undo these changes I've made. Also, you can change these rotations over time. Let's make a short animation on moving this arm around. Go into editing mode. Let's set our starting point for the shoulder rotation. Starting point for the elbow rotation. Let's put it straight. And starting point for the wrist location. Let's go to one second in on the timeline. And I'll rotate the shoulder all the way up. And at two seconds I'll rotate the shoulder to a back down position. 
Now switch to the elbow rotation. Here on the timeline I'm going to move the elbow rotation start to two seconds. This is when I want it to begin rotating. And at three seconds I want it to be flexed all the way up. And four seconds back down again. Now I'm going to move the wrist rotation layer. I want to move its start of rotation at four seconds. Now I'm going to go to five seconds. Now because rotation layers aren't actual bones, you can rotate an object as many degrees as you like. I'm going to rotate this hand around 360 degrees in the last second of the animation. Okay, stop editing. And let's preview what we have. Click on the arrow, File, Preview. Increase the zoom to increase the quality of the animation. Click Preview. Okay, your video may take some time. I always have looping selected on my previews so that it continues to replay. And let's go ahead and see what it looks like. And that's pretty much all there is to getting bone-like animation in Synfig. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching Penguin Tutorials.